Welcome to Cake Desktop's video tutorial. Today I'll be showing you how to grant yourself and others access to Cake2Go and Cake Portal. As you may know, Cake Member allows you, the provider, staff, and parents to use our Cake2Go smartphone app and the Cake Web Portal. But before you can use these features, you will first have to activate an email address that you can use to sign in with. Things will be better understood as we progress along with the video tutorial. To start off, let's log in. In this video, I will be imitating a childcare facility provider and owner, which in most cases will be you. So let me find my profile. Here at the bottom is my mobile cake to go and web portal section. Check the box. The level of authority is quite important. With the owner and director level of authority, you will gain access to every information within Cake Desktop. Everything is non-restrictive and I can look up parents, staff, children, and my own facility's information and accounting. The staff level owner, however, is greatly restricted. The staff member will only be able to view their own information within their profile, such as their work schedule and additional information. So let's choose the owner and director level and click save. But I am not done yet. Before the email can be sent out, I will first have to sync up Cake Desktop to Cake Connect by clicking on the sync button. Once it is done syncing, the email should be sent out to my inbox within 5 minutes. Be sure when you're receiving the email to check the inbox, junk, or spam folder just in case. Once the email has arrived, it will say that the facility has granted me permission to log into the Cake's mobile application and web portal. Clicking on this hyperlink will direct me to a page where I can create my password to use with my email. Please keep in mind that the Cake desktop will not have access to this password and that this applies to the staff and parents as well. Let me certify the Cake's terms of use and then continue. And voila, I've successfully activated my email. What's next is now that I can use my ID and password to log into the web portal here or log into the free Cake2Go app on the iTunes Store or Android Market. Allowing your staff or parents to gain access to the Cake2Go app or web portal is just as easy. Let me grant Katie Young access to the Cake2Go and Cake Portal. Let me open up her profile. I will, however, choose to give her the staff level where she will only be able to view her information, such as her work schedule and additional information. Simply save and sync to Cake Connect, and Katie will receive an email within several minutes directing her to a web page where she can create her own password. Once again, I or Cake Desktop will not have access to this password. Now I will want to give Cindy Rogers access to Cake2Go and Cake Portal. Let's open up her profile. There's no level restriction because as a parent, she will only be able to view her own information and information pertaining to her children. So she will be able to look up Alex and Emily's profile with ease. I will save and sync to Cake Connect. And in a few moments, Cindy will receive an email directing her to the web page where she can create her password. This pretty much sums up the inviting process of Cake2Go and Cake Portal. We hope you have enjoyed this video tutorial and we hope this video helps. Cake. It's not about what we do, it's about what you don't have to.